Let's take a closer look. Down here, underneath this dish, is like being in a different world, a completely strange place. The whole dish is supported on cables, cables that run from one side of the valley to the other side of the valley. Here we have ferns growing and lush vegetation, and you can see that we've taken and combined things of nature into things that are very technical, and we work together to then observe nature. Well, here we are. This is the middle of the dish. This is 38,778 panels, like this one. And it's made up of aluminum, very lightweight aluminum. As you look very closely at one of these panels, you see that it's not solid, that it's made up of very small holes. And these little tiny holes here make the panels very light and pass sunlight and rain through the panels to keep the plants happy. The surface of the dish is very thin and it bends very easily. So workmen have to use special shoes when they walk on it so that they don't damage the surface. This dish is really a giant metal mirror the radio energy coming from a galaxy or a star is collected in this giant dish and then reflected up to one of those antennas hanging from that platform up above us. The antenna can be moved by the scientist and a computer to follow a star across the sky. All of the signals that come off that antenna out there, that giant antenna, end up right here in this very large, very complicated radio receiver. A radio receiver designed especially for scientists to use to study space. Right now, this is what space sounds look like. And if we could listen to it, this is what it sounds like. Now let's look at a very special star, a pulsar. A pulsar is a star that spins very, very fast, and it would look like this. And pulsars sound like this. At one time, they thought that pulsars were signals from an intelligent civilization somewhere out in space. But now we know that that's not true. So as you can see, scientists at observatories all over the world are probing the universe in many different ways. And you out there, our operators are standing by. Just give us a call. So remember all you aliens out there, the search goes on and on. We're watching, waiting, and listening for you. I hope you've enjoyed reading Rainbow's message to the stars. This is LeVar Burton speaking for many people here on Earth saying, please, Come on down! Aliens across the sky Raise your antennas high Give a listen to the face transmission Reading Rainbow Space Edition Reading Rainbow Space Edition Well, I hope they liked our special show And I hope they get in touch But I wonder what will happen if and when they come? 
I guess that'll be up to us. And them. I'll see you next time. And I'll see you next time, too. I hope. Today's Reading Rainbow books are Space Case by Edward Marshall, illustrated by James Marshall, published by Dial Books for Young Readers. Astronauts, Space Jokes and Riddles, compiled by Charles Keller, illustrated by Art Cummings, published by Prentice Hall. Legend of the Milky Way, retold and illustrated by Jean M. Lee, published by Henry Holt and Company. Is There Life in Outer Space? by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Don Madden, published by Thomas Y. Kroll. Reading Rainbow is made possible by grants from B. Dalton Bookseller, who urges children and parents everywhere to follow the Reading Rainbow. B. Dalton is committed to literacy and hopes that in your house, reading is a family affair. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, this station, and other public television stations, the Carnegie Corporation of New York, and the National Science Foundation. Thank you.